When visiting New York City, you come across buildings such as the Empire State, World Trade Center, and Madison Square Garden, but without a doubt one of the most striking and famous in New York is the Yankee Stadium, home of the Yankees in New York, the house that Babe Ruth built, a mythical stadium that houses the history of baseball. Although the original stadium was demolished, the new Yankee Stadium still maintains the essence of the old stadium, saving its first moment of glory in 2009. By winning its first World Series in the same year that the new stadium was inaugurated, but not everything has been triumphs for this mythical team, since the last 20 years, they have only won two World Series, and it has the third streak longer, without winning the title of champion, many superstitious fans have come to think that the team has some curse, due to the fact that 10 years have passed until now, and the Yankees have not managed to be champions. Criticism of this organization is sometimes referred to by detractors as the Bronx Zoo, or the Evil Empire, when the Yankees are traveling, on the road it is common for fans of local teams to sing Yankees suck, it is so high rejection of fans against what t-shirts, stickers, car bumpers, and other items have been sold with this phrase. A Chicago Tribune columnist Mike Royko noted that hating the Yankees is as American as pizza, mothers single, and pay income taxes, but the hatred has not only come from fans and journalists, there are also superstars who repudiate the Yankees, as in the case of Ken Griffey Jr., who recounted in a documentary, released by the MLB Network, that if the Yankees had been the only team to offer him a contract he would have withdrawn from baseball, curses, and superstitions, are not excluded from this team. Due to the fact that during the co in the construction of the new stadium, an avid Boston Red Sox fan had buried a replica of Red Sox player David Ortiz's jersey under the visiting dugout, with the goal of placing a curse on the Yankees, just like the curse of the Bambino, which had supposedly haunted the Red Sox for many years, after trading Babe Ruth, to the New York Yankees, the worker was forced to unburden the player's jersey upon being exposed by co-workers after several months. The same fan claimed to have buried a scorecard from the 2004 championship series, which was contested between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Obtaining the Red Sox, the championship series of incredibly, many workers forced the fanatic to declare where said card was buried, but the fan did not state where the article was placed. The decline in superstitions for the New York and Yanks, they have not affected the economy, and it is not for nothing that Forbes magazine classified them in 2019 as the most valuable team in the major leagues. Valued at $4.6 billion, and it is currently the second sports franchise more valuable. Above Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Barcelona, only surpassed by the Dallas Cowboys, of the NFL, but how did the Yankees become so glorious? And why so much intrigue about this team? To answer these questions, we must analyze history, and travel to the past, to the beginning of the mythical team in January 1903, Ben Johnson, the president of the American League, asked that a league team be put in New York to play along with the Giants of New York, of the National League. The team was named the New Year Highlanders, it was also referred to as the Invaders, by the fans of the city. As early as 1904 the nickname of the Yankees that was not official in back then, it came about. By a sports editor named Jim Price, because it was easier to fit into the newspaper headlines, in 1913 the team became officially known as I Love the New York Yankees, but what made the Yankees so famous, and what did they do to attract the attention of the public? To tell the story of this team it is inevitable to mention the Boston Red Sox, and the legendary player Babe Ruth, the Red Sox, contributed to the success by changing several players who helped the Yankees win the World Series three times in that decade and among those players was Babe Ruth, who began to hit home runs demonstrating her power, and began to bring more people to the franchise who were against part of the New York Giants, who at that time shared the Polo Ground Stadium. When the Yankee Stadium was inaugurated in 1923, the team announced 99,200 fans that it would show up on opening day, but 25,000 were turned away, due to the fact that Ruth had doubled the Yankees' attendance, which helped the team pay for their new $2.5 million stadium. In the first game Babe Ruth, D.I. hit a home run and since then the stadium has been dubbed the house that Babe Ruth built, and so history remains marked as the worst sporting change, leaving the Red Sox without winning a World Series for 86 years. In the season in 1927 the Yankees presented a lineup that became known as the Row of Killers. In this season, they became the first team to occupy the first place throughout the season, winning 110 games, the record. 
For home runs implanted by Babe Ruth of 60, which lasted for 34 years until it was broken, by Roger Maris in 1961, also a Yankees player, Lou Gehrig always stood in the shadow of Bambino Babe Ruth but, that does not mean that he was a bad player obtaining very good numbers for the season in 1927. Hitting 373 with 47 homers and 175 RBIs, he also set one of the most difficult records in the majors, the record of 2,130 consecutive games, to which he e was worth the name of the Iron Horse, for its high resistance this remained for 56 years, and was considered by many unbreakable until it was surpassed by Cal Ripken Jr. in 1995 Lou Gehrig, was the first player that the number of a franchise was withdrawn, the Yankees implemented a new fashion in the other organizations, after Ruth retired from the MLB stage, a new star appeared, who made the Yankees great Yankee Clipper, Joe DiMaggio, who helps Yankees win four World Series in a row, this player holds one of the toughest record in baseball, and will probably never break the record, of 56 hitting games, giving more unbeatable records to the New York franchise, names like Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle, Withy Ford, and Yogi Berra, helped the team win 10 pennants and 7 World Series titles, consolidating the Yankees in the 1950s, such as the best team in the majors, after DiMaggio retirement. The Yankees continued to accumulate victories, having a streak of 5 consecutive world titles, this streak is still the longest in MLB history. DiMaggio is he was about to be traded to the Boston Red Sox, in exchange for Ted Williams, but the operation did not take place because the Yankees did not want to include Yogi Berra in the transfer, remaining until 1951, the year that announced his retirement from baseball. The Yankee Clipper said goodbye by winning the World Series against the Brooklyn Dodgers, the Philadelphia Phillies, and the New York Giants, respectively. His retirement shocked the public, for the reason that he was only 37 years old, when he announced it to comment on it to Sporting News, DiMaggio, said the following I am full of pains, I am in a stage where baseball has become a chore for me, it is no longer fun, it is no longer a game, and so I have played my last game, this year marked. The arrival of the Oklahoma kid, Mickey Mantle, who was one of the several superstars who filled the void, and who precisely played in the position of Joe DiMaggio, center fielder, Casey Stengel, manager at that time of the Yankees was 12 seasons yes endo leader and led the Yankees, to proclaim themselves as the best team in the majors, giving the Yankees seven World Series titles. This organization had many achievements that marked history, and another momentous moment occurred in the 1956. World Series, against the Dodgers pitcher Don Lancer pitched the only perfect game in World Series history, which remains the only perfect game in the postseason and the only no-hitter, until the 2010 season. Roger Maris would join the Yankees in the 1960s, seeking to replicate their success in the 1950s, the young outfielder, led the league in slugging percentage, RBIs, and extra bases finished second in home runs, behind Mickey Mantle, who won the gold glove. And being the MVP of the American League in 1960, the year 1961 was one of the most memorable years in the history of the Yankees, Mantle and Marys began to hit home runs at an incredible rate, as happened in the home run battle, between Samuel Sosa and Mark McGuire, Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris, became known as the M slash M boys because of the first letter of their first surname. A severe hip infection forced Mantle out of the lineup, and Roger Maris continued until October 1st, the last day of the regular season, hitting the 61st homer, beating the record of 60, a record he held for 37 years, until it was broken by McGuire in 1998, Mary still holds the American League record, the Yankees won the 1961 World Series in 1962, but it would no longer be the same because the Yankees were then an aging team, and it was their last appearance in the World Series until 1976, there is no doubt that the Yankees are an unbeatable team, for any sport, and in the next part e you will know more feats, declines and tragedies of this great club, do not forget to subscribe and like this was a baseball party and see you in another video.